The Flames are celebrating two big milestones tonight, and one just happens to be Michael Backlund suiting up for his 1,000th career NHL game. Your Locked On Flames, your daily podcast on the Calgary Flames. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Locked On Flames. As always, I am your host, Jess Belmosto, and thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I have been hosting this show now for almost five years, and I am so excited to celebrate yet another milestone for uh, a staple player. And tonight, that would be Michael Backlund. Uh, today, we're going to talk all about you know who he is as a player, what he's done for the organization, and just how everyone loves and appreciates him uh, throughout the organization. Make sure you're subscribed to Locked on Flames wherever you get your podcasts, as well as YouTube. We are here for you Monday through Friday, five days a week, your Calgary Flames every day. And let's dive right into the biography of the one and only Captain Michael Backlund. Michael Backlund was a first round draft pick back in 2007. I have a feeling that some of you, hopefully, all of you were born by 2007. Uh, he made his NHL debut in 2009, and he has the second most games in Flames history. Uh, he is right behind Jerome McGinley, who played uh, 1,219 games as a Calgary Flame. Both players are such integral pieces to the history of the Calgary Flames, whether you know you look at the longevity of their careers in Calgary, or you look at the leadership abilities, as well as, you know, obviously the on ice playing, that's kind of a big deal, right? So to be in there is incredible. To be just anywhere, I feel like, in a list with Jerome McGinley is pretty impressive. Uh, Backland has 202 career goals and 334 assists with five season, five postseason appearances. Five. That does not, the math, it just shows you the streakiness of the flames, but we can talk about that another day. Today we're here to talk about the, the positivity <laughs> within the Flames uh, history with Backland. And he's played, he's appeared in 82 postseason games, which is a whole nother season in itself, if you think about it. And of course, no Stanley Cup. But Michael Backland was named captain last summer, and it's when he signed his two year extension. And a lot of people kind of thought that they may move on from him. But it also felt really strange because, you know, that's Michael Backlund. He's been a homegrown player. Like he literally grew up in Calgary, has his own kids here now, and has done so much within the community. Uh, one of my favorite things about Backlund is the versatility he has with his line mates. And I'll talk about it more a little bit later, but I really love the um what's the I don't know what the word I'm looking for is but the Mangiapane Backland and Coleman line was such a like integral line to this Flames recent history and a lot of their success in that 2021-2022 season and you know Backland had a young Mangiapane and a veteran on his other wing in Blake Coleman. And it shows that, you know, he can play with both levels um, and that he, that like there was just such great chemistry there that it was impossible to ignore. And it was great to watch. It was so fun to watch. And not only is he, you know, was, he a good line mate, but he, obviously he's a great hockey player. And I feel like that's kind of gotten overlooked in his career. You know, he was leading the team last season, I believe with 11 shorthanded goals. And that's very difficult to do. Uh, obviously you're shorthanded, but it shows that, you know, he'll, he'll get in there. He'll, 
take the puck away and take it up the ice. And I do wonder how many different uh, players he's played with over his years in Calgary, not just like players like on the roster, but line mates in particular. I wish there was a way to search that or find some sort of database with all the line combinations. But I think that, you know, this is obviously very special. Tonight, the Flames are playing the Utah Hockey Club for the very first time. And it's a great, like, two-in-one kind of milestone. And the Flames are celebrating at home on Friday against the New Jersey Devils. And I would not expect anything less from the organization. They have a really nice way of honoring their players. And even if it's, you know, I don't want to say small milestones, but I remember, uh, you know, for Lucic, they did the the 1,000 jerseys. Uh, and I guess there's some Backland customized jerseys out floating around too. So it's very, it, it is absolutely something to celebrate, especially when you remember the average NHL career only lasts six years. Six years is not a long time when when you think about it in terms of how long his career is and has been. But coming up next, we are going to continue down the path of Michael Backlund's legacy here with the Calgary Flames. And we will be right back after this. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action. With over 10 million members and billions of dollars in awarded winnings, Prize Picks has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. You just pick more or less on at least two players for a shot at winning up to 100 times your cash. Run your game all season long on Prize Picks. Price Picks is the best place to get real money on sports action. Join over 10 million users and sign up today. Price Picks now offers Venmo for quick and easy deposits and withdrawals into your account this sports se season. It's safe, fast, and secure. Sign up today and get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Price Picks also offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select players and projections up to 25% to provide even more value for your lineups. Think Connor McDavid will get more than uh, 0.5 goals in, when he returns. Austin Matthews for a few more. Cook up hot takes with your friends and win real money this hockey season. Download the app and use code Lockdown NHL to get fifty dollars off instantly, or sorry, fifty dollars instantly after you play your first five dollar lineup. Download the app today and use code Lockdown NHL to get fifty dollars instantly after you play your first five dollar lineup. Price fix, run your game. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me today on Locked on Flames. Uh, make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, as well as YouTube. We're here for you Monday through Friday, five days a week. Your Calgary Flames every day. This is such a monumental evening. And I I don't know if I've really ever seen or, or like, know anyone personally that's, I mean, other than, like, going to your day job. But, like, that reaches a milestone like this. And, you know, for us, everyday folk, maybe it's, you know, 10 years with the company, 15 years in your company, or things like that. But to go out there and play 1,000 NHL games is bananas. That is someone that is very disciplined that is very uh, headstrong, that is very, obviously very athletic, and someone that's selfless. And with Michael Backlund still being 
a productive member of this team at 35 years old, it does, you know, it makes you feel good because there have been players in the past where it's like, okay, they reached this milestone and it's like, you're just dead weight. Like, what are we celebrating? One day closer to retirement. But that's not the case here. I think Backland is someone who commands respect, right? Like a few years ago, when Daryl Sutter had completely lost the room, rightfully so, honestly, Backland was the only one going toe to toe with Sutter and standing up for his teammates and kind of giving him, giving it back to him. He wasn't going to allow him and his teammates to be treated as a doormat. And doing that is important. You have to have a lot of like self-confidence, but also know that there could be repercussions for speaking to the coach like that. And ultimately, allegedly, seven players requested trades out of Calgary uh if he wasn't fired and then he was fired and magically all of those trades were rescinded and i'm sure his teammates you know we don't hear and know everything that goes on in the locker room or in the team meetings or things like that but i just know that his teammates appreciated him standing up for whether it was it was like just himself or if it was as the team as a whole because sometimes you just have to have someone like have a taste of their own medicine and speaking of a taste Michael Backlund uh, made mention of his secret weapon being Swedish coffee and I think that that's hysterical he talked about uh how he doesn't like the hotel coffees in most of North America in this Calgary Herald article. (laughs) And he just, he was like, if I have to have the biggest suitcase because I want to bring my Swedish coffee, then so be it. It's something that, you know, that I enjoy, that I really like, and that I, you know, benefit from. So I think that's, you know, it's pretty funny. And it's, it really is the little things like that, that you see become a habit. And whether it's like the same black suit or Sidney Crosby and his his jock, his lucky jock strap, like they have these superstitions and routine. And clearly Backlund has found something that works for him. Maybe we just need to continue to give him coffee. Um he is the four hundred and first NHL player to hit one thousand games. And the 82nd to accomplish that on a single team. To me, that is that is such an elite club to be a part of, right? Even like, I feel like, you know, there's the NHL, like you make it to the NHL and then there's these little subcultures and like groups, right? Okay, like you were a 30 goal scorer one season. You played for one team your entire career. You won a Stanley Cup. You, you know, you played 500 games. All these different milestones or, you know, little benchmarks that really put you in a special group. And then to be in a group of less than 100 players to accomplish this with a single team I think that that's even like more incredible because he has been through how many trade deadlines, how many contract extensions, how many, like so many opportunities for him to no longer be a flame. And he still is. And I think that also speaks to the level of respect that the organization has for him. He is a very, What's the word I'm looking for? He's an important staple to this organization. And I feel like after this long, how could you not be? I mean, you've been doing this forever. (laughs) You know, 2009. That is... Oh, my gosh. I, I wasn't even... No, I was in high school in 2009. That's a lie. But for this to be your legacy is great. And we know that Backland is so 
so, 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 so heavily involved in the Calgary community. He has the uh, Parachute for Pets uh, foundation that he works with. And that is something that is constantly happening. Like that isn't just like a, hey, here's this one event, uh, show up and we'll say you sponsored it or anything like that. Uh, I do remember during the Jasper wildfires, him and Mackenzie Weger both had involvement in the rescuing or the sheltering and fostering of the animals that were displaced from those horrific wildfires. And, you know, Mackenzie Weger, yeah, he's still in Canada at that point in like, but Michael Backlund is across the globe and he's still finding ways to help and aid the local community. And I, I just think that that's great because when you're given a platform like this, especially one when you're stabilized in like one community for a long time, uh, you build your roots and your foundation and you really get to know the organizations that you're working with. I think that that's incredible. Kind of like Travis Hamanick, how he had um, met with fans and like gave them tickets to games. Uh, and they were all young kids who had lost a parent. And he he's taken that to every organization he's gone to. And I think that that is absolutely incredible. And I love seeing players do that kind of outreach as well. And doing more than just, you know, going to the local YMCA. That's still, that's obviously very generous and kind, but like, give us more. Um, but coming up next, we are going to wrap up the show with some all-time quotes from Michael Backlund. And could we possibly see him back in a Flames sweater next year? Coming up after this. Get ready to tackle the NFL action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book, because right now new customers can bet $5 and get 150 in bonus bets if you win. The FanDuel Sportsbook app gives you everything you need to place your live bets on the NFL all in one place. Why don't you take the Flames money line tonight? They are going up against the Utah Hockey Club, who have been, you know, they've shown a, a little flash of themselves, but I do think that the Flames are going to snap their losing streak, so take the money line. And I would honestly bet the under. But when you get a hunch in the middle of the game, you can check out the latest stats, view live play-by-play, -play, and so much more on the same page where you placed your bets. Just visit FanDuel.com to join today. You'll get started with $150 in bonus bets if you win your first $5 bet. That's FanDuel.com. Never waste a hunch. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me today on Locked on Flames. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at Just Bill Mosto because we do love live tweeting games on Twitter. And I enjoy keeping in touch with the little uh, community that we have here in the Sea of Red. I am just thoroughly impressed with Backlund's career. It's not as flashy or as uh, decorated as, you know, let's say like an Anze Kopitar, just for an example. It's not like that, but he has still had such a lasting impact on the Flames that I'm curious to see what happens when the time comes, if and when the time comes, where he is no longer a Flame. You know, we know that the organizational... <laughs> Uh, center depth is not great. So losing someone as good as him is going to be tough. But Michael Backlund was asked about how he's approaching this and like what, what he makes of this 
giant milestone. And he goes on to say, it's been on my head a lot, thinking about the whole journey, thinking about everything that has happened since I was a little boy and people that have affected my career and been a big part of it. All summer, I've been thinking about it too and trying to take it in as it's happening and that I've played this long in the NHL, a league I was all I always dreamed of as a kid to play in. I was thinking Sunday on the plane about how when I was in junior high, I had this teacher and one of the topics in school was he was asking everybody when what they want to be when they grow up. It was a sports school, but still, when I said that I wanted to play in the NHL, he said, well, that's probably not going to happen. That percentage, the percentage of that is super slim. And I said, I don't care. I'm going to the NHL. I was just, ha it was the mindset I had my entire life. A good, honestly good for him. I feel like, like every kid tells you, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm going to be a Minecraft. Like, I'm going to be an NHLer. Okay, sure. Good luck. But to set out and do it is incredible. And to do it for as long as, and as successfully as Backland has is impressive. I think, you know, it obviously tonight is pretty special. However, I think that Friday night ceremony uh, where he'll receive his silver stick at the Saddle Dome against the Devils is probably going to be a bit more, you know, like, oh, like I, I actually did this. Like that's, that's kind of crazy. And it'll probably sink in. I think that a lot of these guys really do. And just take everything day by day. And they try not to um, get in the mindset of, you know, okay, like this is, you know, I need one more point to hit 60 points this season or to hit a career high. Like, I don't think that they like to think in that way because then it kind of, you know, they get in their head about it. And I think that it's, even when, you know, everyday people, I feel like something like a big life event happens, it's kind of like, yeah, like that happened. But then, you know, you're a day or two removed from it. And it's like, oh my God, I actually did just buy a house. Oh my God, I just graduated college. Oh, I just, you know, bought my first brand new car, whatever the case may be. And I hope that Backland and his family have a fantastic time celebrating his wife, Frida, is so incredible. She does a lot for the Calgary community as well. Um, she wrote a book recently, too, a children's book, and very sweet, very beautiful. Um, but she is so supportive. There was an interview Backland and her did with uh, Brendan Parker of Flames TV, and she just compliments him and says, you know, if it wasn't for your discipline, we would not be here. We would not be here. Calgary is our home. We have roots here. And it's because of your hard work and dedication and sacrifice. And, you know, there's obviously, again, a lot that goes on behind the scenes that we don't see, we don't know about. But for Backland to choose to stay in Calgary after as many seasons as he has with the tumultuous uh, performances <laughs> the Flames have had over the years. I think that that's just, that's someone that wants, that wants to play. He knows his role in the Flames organization and he takes it seriously. He does not take it lightly. And, you know, his contract's up this summer. And I think this time we can kind of contemplate more of the discussion of, oh, is he going to retire? Is this, you know, was this the last run of it? it? It very well could be. But we have seen hockey players play into their late 30s, early 40s in the recent years. And I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if he does sign a one-year deal with the Flames. I'm not saying I want it one way or another because <laughs> I think there's pros and cons to both. But Michael Backlund is the captain. 
and you're probably going to have to tear him away kicking and screaming. I don't think that walking away from the game is ever necessarily an easy decision for anyone, but I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about the end of the season. We are just getting started and we're going to have a great season here on Locked on Flames and congratulations to Captain Michael Backlund as he suits up for his 1,000th game tonight against the Utah Hockey Club in the two clubs' first meetings. Make sure you're subscribed to Lockdown Flames wherever you get your podcasts, as well as on YouTube. We're here for you Monday through Friday, five days a week, your Calgary Flames every day. And we will be doing an October wrap-up, uh, first thoughts through the first 10 games for tomorrow's episode. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, and go Flames, go!